In this lesson, I'll show you how to write Lewis structures for polyatomic ions. In question number one, we're asked, write the Lewis structure for ammonium ion, and that's represented as NH4+. The first thing that I want to do is write the skeletal structure for the molecule. And since nitrogen is more electronegative than hydrogen, you want to place the nitrogen atom in the central position and the hydrogens around it. Here's what I mean. We'll write down N, H, 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 and H. The next thing that you want to do is calculate the valence electrons for hydrogen and the valence electrons for nitrogen. And for that, I have the periodic table underneath. Notice that nitrogen is in the fifth column. That suggests five valence electrons. And hydrogen is in the first. That's one. So the sum is five plus four times one. And there are nine electrons to work with. Now, that would be the case if this plus wasn't there. The fact that this molecule is positive means that an electron has been removed. So I'll also subtract 1 from this 9. That leaves us with 8. Next, we want to make sure that each of these atoms have a complete octet. So hydrogen needs 2 electrons. 1, 2. This hydrogen also needs 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nitrogen has a full octet, notice, 8 electrons. And all of these hydrogens have 2 which satisfies that octet rule. Finally, once you've done this, write the Lewis structure in brackets and show the charge. So we'll introduce these brackets, and since it's plus, we'll write down plus in the top right corner. That's the answer to question number one. Let's move on to question number two. Question number two says, write the Lewis structure of the hypochlorite ion ClO negative. So we have chlorine and oxygen. We can write down chlorine and oxygen like this. The number of valence electrons for chlorine is seven. It's in the seventh column right there. And the valence electrons for oxygen is six. It's in the sixth column. So seven plus six is 13. And notice that this is negative, meaning that another electron has been applied. So we're working with 14 electrons. I'll fill in how many electrons oxygen normally has, which is six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and chlorine normally has seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This electron and this electron will make a pair. And given that there's an extra electron, that 14th electron, we'll place it right here. Once again, I'll put this in brackets and show the charge in the top right corner. And there you have it. That is how to write Lewis structures for polyatomic ions.